Hi folks, this is Kieran here again. Uh, this is a reply video to uh, Face What's Ahead. That's his YouTube channel name. Uh, his video was uh, called I Feel Alone and he did it on uh, early July, uh, I think two weeks ago from now, so it was early July um, 2013 was his video. Um, hi Face What's Ahead. I uh, hope you're good. Uh, we've had some contact before I did a reply video to you on your previous channel um, or one of your previous channels um, a year or so ago, I think. Um, I can post a link to that. Um, I thought I'd uh, felt uh, I should talk to you about this because um, I have a you, you're talking basically in your video about you've got this campaign to rehabilitate the N-word. Um, I've already agreed with members of my family that I shouldn't actually use the N-word on the internet. Um, though my natural inclination would be to use it. Um, but yeah, basically uh, your your idea to rehabilitate, what's the other word? To um, Anyway, make it a kind of good word instead of a bad word. Um, and you're saying that you kind of don't have many supporters or any supporters or you feel you don't have many supporters. You also mentioned your family are not really behind this campaign. Um, the reason I'd like to talk to you is because I'm basically doing, I have my own sort of campaign uh, which is um, called uh, Preference Equality uh, now. I used to have another name. Um, uh, it's a utopian scheme for society and my previous video is all about that so you can check it out if you want. Uh, I also did a load of videos when I first started my YouTube channel uh, on, on, on this subject uh, when it was called uh, Strict Equality. Um, and basically uh, um, what I've found, I've been about four years kind of since I thought of this plan and I've talked to, I have not been really pushing it that much. I made a bunch of videos which I put up on YouTube. Barely got any comments or views. I got kind of 50 views kind of level of viewing and that was it. Uh, most of the most of the videos didn't have any comments on them at all. I think I've clocked up for about, I don't know, about 10 to 15 comments on the whole video series. Nobody supports the plan. Um, I've talked to family and friends about it. I made a kind of blog. I'm c I've recently made a website, but it's too early to get much reaction about that. But um, roughly speaking, I've kind of put it out there. Um, my immediate family were kind of ha sort of half of them were kind of not that interested. I think the other half probably interested in talking about it as a talking point, uh, but certainly not supporting the plan. Um, I've also been in political groups where, actually I pushed it the most in this political group I was in, which is currently called IOPS, it had a different name before. Um, uh, IOPS have similar ideas, so I thought IOPS people would be quite interested. Um, got a lot of indifference there and some, maybe some hostility, not that much hostility, mostly indifference. Um, and uh, that's it really. And my friends, uh, I've got a couple of friends I talked to about this preference equality idea and they sort of make fun of it really. They like to talk about it to kind of poke fun at me and like, but in a, in a pretty nice way. Like, uh, I don't get the impression they dislike me when they're doing this kind of thing. They just... They think it's just uh, pie in the sky nonsense. Um, so, uh, if I could give you some advice, which you have not asked me to do, um, I'd basically say just don't expect, especially with your family, just don't expect them to support your political ideas. Just like you probably don't necessarily support every political idea they might come out with. Uh, each person is a bit of an island in terms of their political views and uh, you've got to realize that your idea is controversial 
um, as is mine, uh, I think you're, we're probably in the same ballpark in terms of controversy. Yours is a bit more shocking, mine's a bit more like crazy. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, don't expect you're gonna get a lot of supporters on on the internet. You might get some, I guess. I don't have any, even on the internet. I barely, I have not had anyone saying that is a good idea. I, I agree with it. Um, which I'm sure you, I, I know you have had some people, like the YouTube user Origin, for example, did say it, he agreed with your campaign. Um, I don't think people are mis un don't understand your campaign. I think they do. It's not that different to things that have been done before with words like uh, queer. Um, uh, it's just... Um, I don't know why it's not taken off as much as you think. Um, there are a lot of words out there to rehabilitate. I don't know. Or maybe... Uh, I give my own personal view on your thing on my last video. I don't think my views changed all that much. I can't remember exactly what I said in the last video, but uh, roughly speaking, I see sort of pros and cons of your approach. Um, and uh, I'm not telling you to give up on your campaign. Although your campaign is more, my, mine is more of a utopian scheme that stands up as a kind of intellectual achievement or the intellectual you know uh, creation on its own whether you agree with it or not so I've sort of created something there your scheme is a little bit more of a tactic to improve the world and I think with tactics it's slightly more uh, dependent on whether you get support it is sort of a bit pointless if you don't get much support for it I mean the words meanings of words are created by the in this case of English, um, millions of people that they, they use them, and uh, your campaign isn't going to do anything if people don't adopt the, the word, the new meaning of the word. Um, I mean, I, I really don't think you should give up the campaign. It's an interesting campaign, and you do a very interesting video to do with it. Maybe you should diversify a bit and do some other campaigns. Uh, and you know, just to put your foot in some of the toes in some of the water or whatever the metaphor is, put your fingers, some of your fingers in some other pies. Um, so that's it, really. Anyway, um, I, I mean, I wish your campaign well, and I, I wish you well as well, very much so. With your, I mean, I r really uh, hope you get along with your family and all that, and this doesn't become a big issue. Um, so, I mean, what, well, what I think what maybe a slight difference between us is that I really kind of, I haven't had to make a choice between this, my campaign and uh, my family, but m I'd be more inclined to give up the, the campaign, I think, even though I do totally believe in it. It would be wrong if my family made me make that choice. Um, but you might be able to. I mean, I'm sure your family wouldn't be wouldn't be standing by you now at all if they really objected to this your campaign. So they probably can tolerate your campaign. It's just a matter of degree of how much time you're putting into it. Uh, and with me, I, mean, I think that my political a activities, my immediate family do set a, a sort of um, a tacit kind of limit on how much I can get obsessed with my political activities, I think there would be problems if they really felt that I was putting that putting that first. Anyway, uh, all the best. I hope you don't feel quite so alone now. I'm also alone, and we are alone together. So, uh, all the best, mate.